Somebody's leftover coffee. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, man. Barely get a drink in my hand. I gotta sit it down. Oh, you was gonna share yours with me? Isn't it fantastic? That's <laughs> right. Everybody share your hand with me. sit down. Um, I'm sure you've heard it, and I'm sure you're going to hear it about seven million times. Aren't they fantastic? <laughs> I had the good fortune of uh, playing with them in their, in their homeland uh, for about a week-long stretch there. We did a festival down in uh, Australia. I still can't talk like that, but I can say, uh, good day, mate. <laughs> Is that even close? Is that even close? Give, can you give it a good one? Get, let the audience hear what the real one sounds like because mine was so terrible. G'day, mate. <laughs> it sounded exactly like mine to me. I don't know. G'day, mate. Okay. Well, see, I taught you something. <laughs> Stick with me, kid. I'll take you places. <laughs> That's not a knife. <laughs> so, you don't have a knife like today. <laughs> Let's check on that first. <laughs> Are you having a good time out there? Well, this is the 25th anniversary of the Tupelo Elvis Festival, and I haven't been at all 25 of them on the stage, but I've been to most of them, because I don't know if you're aware of this, for the first, I don't know, half a dozen or so, there was no tribute artist contest. So they would have the real folks like Jerry Lee Lewis, Little Richard, all, all the early artists come into town, B.B. King and those kind of guys. So this thing has grown and, and expanded, and now it's probably the most revered competition to win, right there equal with the ultimate. I know a lot of guys that would just as soon win this as win the ultimate, and I'm one of them. This town has always been special to me. I've been doing shows here for probably 25 years, I'm not exaggerating. And as I go to the hotel I'm staying at, which most of you are at, the Hilton Garden Inn, I did the grand opening of that hotel. We did a, a show in the hotel for the grand opening. The automobile museum when that was built, we did that. And I've played so many places. I played little hole in the walls, and I played Park Heights, and all the restaurants. I've been hired for private stuff, and I've done a few shows at a place down the street. It's called the Elvis Presley Birthplace, and that is a very special place. And if you don't believe me, ask these folks behind us here. This a treat for them to get to go to it as well. Elvis is, the power of Elvis is unbelievable, and it's been such an honor for me to get to do that. So, and some of those people that's responsible for having me on stage here tonight, they can hear me back there. So thank you guys, all the people in charge. Also, my friend Rhonda Lamb is in the audience. She works at the birthplace. She's responsible for the, uh, the statue there, kind of getting me hooked up to model for that statue. And also my friend right here in the very middle of the aisle, if everybody can turn and look at it. I don't know if you can put a light on him. He's the former director of the birthplace and such a wonderful human being. And more than just a good guy, he's my friend. That's a good guy, ladies and gentlemen. What a great friend you've been to me. And we sure miss you and I love you. And I was coming to your house if I didn't see you before Sunday, so I'm glad you sent me a trip. But I'll still come over there. Uh, can we do a gospel song for you now? Would that be okay? Let me get a quick sip of this old stale coffee and we'll do it. I'd like to do Lois's favorite gospel song. You heard me pray earlier. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm a Christian, ladies and gentlemen. I believe there's only, there's only one person that can solve all the problems, and it's not me. And he's done wonderful things in my life, like some of the stuff I mentioned there for you. And uh, he can do the same thing for you if you give him an opportunity. And some of us need it more than others. So if you know somebody who needs it, pray for them. Never give up on somebody because you never know. The next prayer might be the one that leads them to God. And once God's got his hands on you, look out, man. Let's do how great God. Listen to this.
Oh!